In this tutorial video, I will demonstrate how you can connect an ATEM switcher to a Crestron panel. Although I don't have a Crestron panel, but I will show you a methodology where you can use a TCP connection to an Arduino microprocessor to control the ATEM switcher, and that's just as good. Okay, so basically the ATEM switcher is here, it's connected by a network switch to uh, my computer, which uh, runs the ATEM software control. And uh, I, if you uh, press the space key, you can see it swaps between camera one and two on the screenshot here. So the Arduino is this little microprocessor you can buy from any hobby electronics store in the world, I think. And um, the controller itself looks like this. This is an Arduino Mega. And uh, you need an ethernet shield also. And it looks like this. So the shield is a printed circuit board that you place on top of um, the Arduino Mega, like that. Just need to make sure the pins are properly aligned here, like that. And you press it together. I brought this plastic box too because they have a plastic box like this, which you can buy and then you can place everything into this nice compartment and uh, you can put it in a rack somewhere close to your Crestron and your ATEM switcher. Okay, let's put this aside and put this um, at the center stage. And then we connect it to the ethernet network with this cable. And then I have a USB cable from my laptop I put in here. And this will actually provide power to the board. So now this guy is powered up. And all I need to do is to program it with a sketch that will talk to the ATEM switcher. So um, I'll just swap over to the Arduino application uh, programming environment you see right here. So um, this is something you download from Arduino's uh, homepage, arduino.cc, and uh, you install this um, environment. And then you need to, inst uh, to install some libraries, code libraries um, that we've developed at Skahoy. And this is open source, so that's the reason why I, we can uh, share it and show you that you can actually get pretty far with some, uh, one of our example sketches. So you need in particular the Atom EXT library and also the Atom Base library, which can be downloaded from GitHub. And then you um, choose one of the example sketches called Telnet, Atom Telnet Control. And we open this piece of code. Inside, you read some instructions, etc. And one of the things you need is to set up the IP address of the ATEM switcher and um, the IP address of uh, this guy. And then, of course, you need to program your Crestron system to talk to this. So, um, as you can see from these lines, we use the default IP address for the ATEM switcher and also the typical IP address we use for Arduino modules. So, uh, in fact, all I need to do is just to press uh, compile and upload. Uh, if we look inside the code, you can see that it will, when it handles incoming uh, TCP commands, it will give you a list of options you can perform. So, um, this is um, what we'll do in just a moment. I press the key for uploading, compiling the sketch. You can see it in the bottom of the screen. And then it says problem uploading to the board. Okay, this is all Arduino stuff. So really what you need is to make sure that you have an Arduino Mega connected by selecting the, the correct board here. You also need to select the correct port and that's the thing we didn't do. So I press this one and now when I, um, I could press the button upload here, then again, it is writing code to the microprocessor over here. And then it is uh, checking and it's done. Okay, so that's all there is to it. What I can do now is to close my Arduino uh, environment and I could open a um, console like this one. So I now write telnet and then the IP address of this guy, guy, so I'm now I'm making a Telnet connection to this one on port 8899 and execute. So now it says trying to connect, it's connected to escape characters. If I put something down and press um, enter, you see, okay, not acknowledged, so it doesn't know the command, type help for commands. Okay, so I type help like that. And here you see the commands that has been made. So what does it say? It says, PGM, get me 
ME1 program source for the ATEM switcher. Let's try that. PGM, what does it say? It says that on program we have input number two. Is that true? So you could go to the ATEM software and you can see, yes, it is actually camera two, which is on, on, on program. And now if we are a little smart, we might be able to uh, get this application up along with the ATEM software. Okay, so here I have my connection to the Arduino over TCP and here I have my ATEM switcher. So um, let's try to do a cut and you see that uh, camera one and two change place. If in the prompt here we write PGM, you should see that now it's input source number one, which is on PGM. Of course, the interesting thing is that you want to control the ATEM switcher through commands like this. So it's as easy as writing, sorry, PGM equals, let's say four, PGM equals four, and we should see camera four going on program. And then if you look in the list, you can see that likewise, we could put preview on three. So preview on three, there you go. We could also have auxiliary channels, um, like auxiliary channel something equals something. So in the ATEM switch, in order to see that, you would need to uh, look at this drop down menu here. Now you can see we have color bars currently on auxiliary one. Let's say we want to have camera four. So we go over here, auxiliary one equals four. It should be done. So if we go back to the ATEM software, you can see camera four is now on auxiliary one. Now, um, that was another thing. You could also uh, do a cut and auto transition. Let's try auto. That would be very obvious because you would see the slider beginning to move here. Whoop. And there you go, you made a cut transition. Oh, sorry, auto transition. And then finally you have stuff like uh, pinging the device. So we suggest that you, you ping the device once in a while and you get an egg back so you know you are in connection with the device. And finally you could also write list and you'll get a list of all the values. So if you want to connect a Crestron system to your ATEM switcher, download the Skahoy ATEM libraries, compile them on this one, take one of the example sketches that we provided and you can write your Crestron specific implementation up against the Arduino converter or protocol converter, which is basically the middleman between your Crestron system and your ATEM switcher. If you would like to do it over serial like RS232, it's possible as well. It's just a matter of uh, doing the same implementation uh, with serial commands and uh, we have example sketches for that and also we are able to help you so we are experts in implementing microcontroller systems like this for ATEM switches so you can always ask us for a quote on consultancy to help you get started.